ka mad Project Swatch. Ishi Serpi. Tidhe me agata board. Na video me si. A pass on board please. Police officer. Talking about the facts eh. Him call out him owner. Squad them. And. Them basically banish him. I think the fancy word. For it is. You know, ostracized. When turn them. You know, take somebody away. Normally amongst a group of people. And then. You know, talk them now. Look a kind of far from everybody else. And basically start treat them like the plague. Ostracize you. Never talk about it. Because. Even though it's not good PR for the JCF, I'm glad this come out. Over the years, on the return, so one time certain stories come out but about the government or the police force and JD fronting them. But then I say, yeah, it might not look good from a PR point of view, but that's a good thing. Because we know these things are going on. So we don't want to keep living in the dark. We don't want to keep living a lie. Let it all out! But let him step forward. Of course, him. Cool, look at him. I'm going to say this and that, and you know, you're the next side of the story. Alright, come talk the next side of the story then. But for now, we can only work with what we hear him. I say, you come talk your side then. But there's something more we know happen. And it's not just a JCF thing. Enough Arimanians can relate. Something I go on in a day. Workplace, them tell you, say, when you see anything spooky, I go on, call it out. Them tell you, say, do the right thing. But as I've said many times before, an iron man doing the right thing can feel like the wrong thing because suddenly you start to feel alone. Let me hear the policeman say, check this out. Works at the Kingston Central Police Station says he's left with no choice but to tell his story about what he describes as victimization in the workplace. He believes he has been targeted because he spoke out about a fellow police constable who was working contrary to the law. He alleges that the constable was seizing motor vehicles without good reason. His favorite offense is that the vehicles, the plates are obscured. And I'm saying if I can see it clearly, it cannot be that it's obscured. So, you need to find another offence where that one is not made out. Councillor Campbell says the policeman threatened to hurt him in the presence of an inspector. His exact words were, May I go bust you up and go up and say, I be go sit down. This man is carrying a firearm. I am not. He's a constable, you say, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. He advanced towards me and had to be held by another police officer so that I wouldn't have been harmed. This is what I reported. He says for the past six years, he has been facing victimization in the JCF because of another incident, but says it has escalated since he spoke out about the policeman's inappropriate action against a motorist. I did nothing wrong. It was seen as an opportunity to create some animosity. I did what the law requires of me when treating with a threat. And then I went to court it ended in my favor and I was the one who is transferred to sit in a practical pigsty to work since um, the earlier part of this year. Now, Constable Campbell says he was posted to work at a gate outside the main building under unsanitary conditions. I was pulled into a meeting and told I must work at this section, which is unhealthy as you can see. There's no electricity, there's sewage water running in front of it. It leaks when it rains. Um, there's no furniture in here. The gate doesn't work. And I'm told I must do this duty of handling the public to include checking for, for firearms and stuff like that. So, him squatted him, I chopped the line. Call that the model. I chopped the line. Them tell you, say, do the right thing. Them tell you, say, if you see this, then call it out and report it to somebody up the chain of command. That's what they tell you. But people who are familiar with JCF and JDF can tell you. Enough time that often means career come to a standstill. And it keeps going on because the people that would happen to just say I one of them things there. Complain. Hold on them head. And the people that would do it. 
Don't get called out. I love the fact that this policeman take it public. Because now it's a thing. You see, when it just happened in the barracks, when it just happened in the station, they're not only people in the station hear about it and know about it. There's some little whisper whisper. Yo, you know, you say, Constable so and so. Get the man that me here, man. People who are doing the line chopping, the people who are victimized, they squatted them. Because them now get loaded up. They continue. So I'm glad to squad they come forward. This is a great day. A great day. I'm telling you to say a police officer that JC if you put out people that look at YouTube and say I'm farmer. Or police not like in farmer. Or JDF not like in farmer. I'll tell you why. Because them type of people are criminally minded too. Where criminals want to be able to commit them crimes in peace. That they want to know. So now you know why no police. No, like, look, YouTube, I say I'm a farmer. No police, no, like, certain vloggers, because them say I'm a farmer. They have vendettas against an farmer. How can you have a vendetta against an farmer? How can you have a vendetta against somebody who do what they tell people to do, which is report the crime? That them tell you, you know, if you see something, say something. That them tell you. They even tell you to do it, the same police tell you, say I'm a farmer. The most them do is say, Go and run a professional, this and that, go tell, go write a report, write a report and the man run their friend with the smaddy way I write the report about. Enough people just work with certain madness in them workplace because them come to the conclusion it's easier than going through the war because here's the next spooky thing. Just like Runkus them found out back in the day, even though everybody agree with what you say, you depend on your own. But well, let's not listen to me. Just like room custom find out, you know. Everybody up on plantation are all about oh, then can't take beating and then can't take no more the beating and all the sun and burning them up and all kind of stuff. Everybody are complaining about the same thing. But when room coast run out and look side of him, nobody know the side of him. They must say room coast are idiot, man, car. But the body knows so I get sugar cane at evening time. Enough police officers know so well, this man are talking about a real thing. Now for them go through it too. But they don't run out with them. Then you'll tell us, yeah man, how them deal with the man. A wickedness that star, John, a wickedness that star. Say, so how much I want to stand upside of him? None. None, you mad? Bad to bad, we can go to a police officer's club and laugh and beat some damn. I want him to hear that. Man, no, I upset the soup, no, I upset the inspector. So now man start feel that like they're alone. They tell you to do the right thing, but in Ireland, the right thing often get the wrong results. There's a saying, I think it was Snowden who said. When you start, get hit and attacked for calling out crimes, that means you're being run by criminals. That's what Ireland say. There's a reason why people like me have to live in a bush. I have to live like nomad. Can't be all up in the mainstream. Because in Ireland, Calling out the crimes is a bad thing, so that means you're being run by criminals. They tell you to do the right thing and look on the end result. Who them celebrate? Who are tap a tap? Tap a tap, no, those tap a tap seeks. But then say about see on the bank and my farmer them for dead. Our manians don't believe in a quote unquote right thing. The squaddy was doing the right thing. So no other man ever tell us, you see, that's why, that's why I have to do my dinner now because, see. Look what I'm thinking. Him go the boy, man, do right thing and look what I'm thinking. I said, I'm going to stay over here and go and chop the line to the car. I'm going to go and thief too. Because I see it, because I'm going to go the boy and go and find some goody tools too. And you see what I'm thinking, then I'm thinking, man. Right now, not even one rat chick him off on him. Not even one rat chick. Then this arm, man, send him going to one full cup somewhere. Right now, last time, check on my hog penny, me now. So I had that film to me, no, dog. Me have my baby, mother, my wife, and, and, and my five picking them around to look after. So, my brother's going easy. So, I said, dog, that the money, I tell you. Spooky. But it's not a bad thing to come out. You need to come out more often. I hope this encourage more people. Not just in JC, but Ironman as a whole. To start with, hold on them head and so find silence because that benefit man, the aggressor. It benefit the bully.
When trying to do these things to people, and then they get load up, it empower them. They must get load up. But when they keep talking about clean up JCF, clean up JCF, and then one time, a time you clean up and talk about, boy, it not look good. It does look good. If you are clean your house, you should be glad to see you find one car and never do this stuck up and on the fellas thing. If you say your gear house are good cleaning, and one part that they follow to any of us, when you walk up on it, you should be glad. Because now you can get rid of it. And keep a close sight on this case. But in the swarm, the people who do the right thing, Iron Man, and step out, they often get. They often find themselves feeling real lonely. Because every Jamaican loves sitting on ball and complain. Just like in Runkus them days, everybody was balling on the plantation and bought a master's wood. But when Runkus someone could step out, Runkus was alone. See man couple man. See him people more complain, say, boy, bad to bad, can I have some sugar cane? Remember, we have videos coming up. We have the custom video coming up. We have the SD video coming up. SD funeral gone. Most of people message me. I said, boy, look YouTuber. Paris funeral home, bingo. In bingo card that the money they wouldn't spend on the casket for executing bingo. You tell us in the Ironman culture, even dead sexy, come like you, them can't wait for dead. Get them one about the casket. That they sit with them bury Ezzy and I can't even be described as a casket. That come like when they used to bury the, the Egyptian fear of them, you know. These Ari Saxons are used to the point to them start building pyramids. Like the ancient Egyptians. Suffering, starving, get a youth who can't find a cup food to eat. But the dearest lawyer, the dearest gun, and when he's dead, he's going to have the dearest casket. It has to be studied. Patriot Squad, big up on yourself, PIA, you don't know, more life. Ultra Squad, stay circling. Bless.